Yo, what's up, everybody? How you doing? This is your coach, Renz. Now, the call that you're about to listen to is a scam company from in India where they act like you have an arrest warrant in El Paso, Texas that has something to do with your social security number. I wasted their time, and his response at the end was very good. It wasn't as good as the one that I, uh, a guy who tried to scam me about a month ago, where he just cussed me out when he found out. But, you know, y'all check it out. Listen to the information to make sure you don't get scammed when these people try to call you talking about your social security number. That's nephew Caden. He's just cracking up the whole time. Later. Down. All right, here we go again with one of them calls. Attention. This call is from the legal department of Social Security Administration. Your Social Security number has been suspended and we have filed a case under your name. So before this matter goes to federal courthouse for you to get arrested, kindly press 1. Because FBI also involved in your case. So I repeat, press 1. Think about your... <laughs> Thank you for calling Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Um, h um, hello? Um... I'm calling because I, I well I'm not calling I got I, the, my phone rang and, and it's a message about my social security and a warrant off of my arrest. I, I'm not understanding this. What's what's going on? Who is this? I will make you understand. But first to all, then maybe your name. I have to pull up your file. I mean, but y'all call me and and I'm trying to understand why my social. I've never had a problem with my social security card before and my social security. And it says that there's a warrant off of my arrest with the FBI. I mean, I have never broken the laws or anything before, so I really don't understand what's going on here. I mean, what is this about the FBI? Because, I mean, you know, I have a family, I have children, you know, I have a business, and, and I've, I've filed everything correctly. I pay my taxes. I, I don't understand what possibly is going on. Like, like what is, who are you again? What's your name? So this is Officer Ray Johnson. Officer Ray Johnson? Eric Johnson. Eric Johnson? Your uh, Officer Eric Johnson? So, I mean, yeah. uh, okay, so do I need to come down to the Social Security? I mean, I'm here, you know, I, I, and do I need to come down to your office? Because I can't go to jail, you know, I can't. There's no way. My family depends on me too much for me to go to jail, Mr. Uh, Officer Johnson. Okay. So I can understand. First of all, you know that I didn't call you. It's a transfer call. It's a transfer call? Call. Uh, yes, you have received a call from the state court of Texas. And Texas? You might have pressed one. Yes, sir. And after that, you might have pressed one. Right. I mean, I'm in and Georgia. So, I got to come to Texas? Uh, that is the reason, sir. Your call is connected here. So, confirm me with your name, I have to pull up your file, and after that, I will tell you what is happening with your social security number. I mean, that well, that doesn't make sense. I mean, if you, if you're, I mean, I'm, the thing said that my social security number is, is something's wrong with it, shouldn't it just automatically pop up on your screen? So, I'm just telling that, you know that I have many files in front of me, and I have to pull up your file, and... Uh, you have to pull up my file? Yes, I have to pull up your file and after that I will tell you each and everything about your case. Okay. Well, I mean, my name is my name is Dwayne Simmons. So, I mean... Right. What's your name, sir? Dwayne Simmons. Okay, can you spell your name? Um, it's D-A-W-A-U-A-N-E. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is. D, D A. No, what? no. It's D U A N E. I mean. D U A N E. Yeah, Dwayne. Oh, Dwayne. And the last name? It's Simmons. D U A N E. And the last name, sir? Can you spell your last name? It's S I M M O N S. M M O N S. Yes, I mean, oh. I'm just, I, I, I just don't know what to do. This is just so crazy. I mean, oh my God. Dion Sir? Hello? What was that, Officer Johnson? It's Dion Simmons. 
Yeah, Simmons. Oh, Simmons. Oh, Simmons. You and Simmons. Yeah, I mean, what's... Okay. I mean, this is so... I mean, I don't... You know, I served in the Marine Corps. You know, I, I've, I've never done anything wrong. I got an honorable discharge. I'm not understanding how this is happening. I mean, what did, what did I do? I just got your files and this is Officer Eric Johnson. I'm from Investigation Department of Social Security Administration. I just got your files here and we can see that the reason you received the voice call from the State Board of Texas because we have received orders and notices from law enforcement agencies to suspend your social security number on an immediate basis. Uh, you know that we have received the from that Suspicious information under your name. So, yeah. are you aware about this situation? What is happening with your social security number? I mean, no, I haven't received any letters or mail or anything like that. And you're saying there's some suspicious information going on under my name? Okay. So, before I go ahead, sir, I just want to confirm that I'm talking to the right person or not. So, confirm me with your social security number. Confirm my social security number? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I have to confirm that I'm talking to the right person or not. All right. So my social security number is two five eight two one three six nine three. Okay. Let me check. Let me check. Give me a moment here. Hello, can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can hear you. I mean, God. 25821. I'm sorry, what was that? 258. Uh, repeat your social security number back to me. Okay. I'm saying that. Repeat your social security number back to me. Oh, it's, it's, two, it's 25821. Yes. Three six nine three. Okay, I got that. So, sir, before I proceed further, I would notify you that this call will be monitored and recorded by three major federal agencies: Federal Trade Commission, the Federal Business Bureau, and the last one is Financial Crime Enforcement and Working Department. So, make sure that you be very specific and honest about whatever you're going to speak over this recorded call. Okay. First of all, I would like you to grab a piece of paper and pen handy and write down some important information. Grab a piece of paper, sir. Okay. Um, all right. Okay, I have paper and pen. Okay. Are you ready with pen and paper? Yes, I'm ready with pen and paper. Just write down the case number. DFC 701. Um, say that again. DMC 701. DMC 701? Yeah. Okay, DMC 701. No, it's not B. It's D, D as in dog. Oh, D as in dog. Okay, D. Got it. Yes. Now write down my name. This is Officer Eric Johnson. Okay, Officer Eric Johnson. Yes, Eric Johnson. Now write down my badge number. It's 9... Seven one five eight three. Nine seven one five eight three. Yeah. Now write down arrest warrant number A four seven. Arrest warrant. Yeah. Yes, sir. Arrest warrant. Because as I told you that we have received suspicious things. That's why there is an arrest warrant. Okay. So what? Oh my God. Oh, do I, I need to call my lawyer. Okay. So what's the arrest warrant number? 
A Wait, wait, you're going too fast. A47. MLS. MLS. 215. 215. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, I'm going to explain you the case. So, allow me to complete my part and I will give you a fair chance to speak with it once I'm done. Okay. Is it clear? Yes. Uh, the investigation is started under your name and your social security number when the sheriff recovered a suspicious address in South border of Texas. There few locals reported about this address that something suspicious has happened there. And after which the local sheriff and some officers investigated the address. Hello? They found such paperwork and documentation with some banking institution which totally seems suspicious to them. And there is two addresses linked with your social security number. The first address is 1245 East 16th Avenue, El Paso, Texas 79936. The second address is, which is linked with your social, is 7609 Ocean Avenue, El Paso, Texas 79936. Do you know any of these addresses? No, I, I don't. I've never even been to El Paso, Texas. I don't even. I've, I've never lived there. I've never even visited. I've never been to El Paso, Texas before in my life. Okay. The second address in El Paso, Texas that I'm talking about, sir, is uh, already a suspicious address, which was raided by the State Rangers Division and the U.S. Marshals. And they found some paperwork and documentation with some banking institutions like Bank of America, Wells Fargo. Chase Bank, TD Bank, and approximately there were 14 bank accounts and 9 credit cards. And they were all under your name and your social security number. So, are you dealing with 14 bank accounts? No, I, I don't even have those. Those aren't even banks I to work with. Okay. And how many banking institutions are you dealing with, to your knowledge? I, I only deal with one banking institution right now. Okay, what's your bank name? Um, my, I bank with USAA. USAA bank? Yeah. Okay. Like, you know, I said I was in the Marine Corps, so I used USAA. And uh, we have found nine credit cards under your name, so do you have nine credit cards under your name? N no, I don't. Oh, my gosh. I only have, like, two credit cards under my name. Okay. What's the name of your credit card? The name of it? I mean, they're with USAA. It's the same one. I just do it through my bank. Everything is with my bank. My one bank. Okay. Your credit card. I'm asking about your credit card. You have told that you have two credit cards under your name. Yes, I only have two. Then tell me the name. The name of the credit card? Yes. It's with USAA. It's with my bank. It's your debit card or it's your credit card? They're credit cards. I mean, I have debit cards with them, too. I have debit cards and I have credit cards. With USAA and the second one is? They're both with USAA. Okay. Oh, oh, sir, from these 14 bank accounts, we have found that $6 trillion of dollars has been wired in narco-trafficking countries like Mexico and Colombia. Locally and internationally, this totally seems suspicious to us. Did you say six million? We as a social... Yes, sir, six million. Oh, my... This is the reason we as a social security administration of the state of Texas filed a case against you for drug trafficking and money laundering. As you know, according to a... Drug! I've never even used drugs. I've never... I don't even drink. I've never used drugs, never had a sip of alcohol. Oh, and I, oh my God. Oh. And money laundering? You no, know, according... According yes, to money laundering, as you know, according to the section 42 and the section C of 1958, Drug Enforcement Administration, those who done such kind of these activities under your information, is going to be taken for non-believable imprisonment terms of nine years, and the penalty could be eighty-five thousand dollar or above. Eighty-five. Wait, you you said? Uh, sir. I'm sorry, I didn't understand that. Could you say that again? According to the section 42 and subsection C of 1958, Drug Enforcement Administration, 
those who done such kind of these activities under your information is going to be taken for non billable imprisonment terms of 9 years and the penalty could be $85000 or above and in this regard in this regard we also checked your past records and we found your banking contains genuine records and you should sure have no other complaints in the past that is the reason we called you so we can inform you these suspicious activities are happening under your social are you sure you're not that person who is doing this kind of criminal activities i i've never done those things all right so now i completely understand your point as you think on this federally recorded line that the information we have in our custody does not belongs to you so there may be a high possibility that someone has access to your personal information which is the biggest concern of us and you might be a victim to identity theft now the state of texas has decided to get your existing social security number suspended on an immediate basis as we have got three serious allegations charged against this culprit who is money laundering drug trafficking and the theft of identity based on these allegations the social security administration got the orders by the state court of texas to get your existing social security number suspended on the immediate basis the reason why the inform- why the information is getting freeze only because we have no idea apart from texas that means your information is still getting misused just tell me that sir did you receive any kind of phone calls from irs or loan companies trying after your credit card or something like that no i have received anything from the irs Do you recall someone who is trying to seek revenge from you and trying to use your name? No. Okay. So at this point of time the situation you are in at the moment the court conduct clearly states that any person who does not own a valid social security number is no longer valid citizen of the United States. So most probably tomorrow we will having two government officers paying a visit to you at your residence. We will explain you how this case happened and all the criteria. To these all your old social and issuing new social security number will be sorted. And one more thing is that, sir, I don't want any third person involved. As we have accomplished this case, to be identity staff, you know that anyone around you can be the suspect, like your neighbor, your family member. Right, anyone. right. I don't trust anybody. Yes, sir. and we need to keep this ongoing investigation confidential i will now your now your now your existing social security number will be suspended whatever information is uh, information are linked to your social security number will be seized and seized by the law enforcement okay okay so whatever the so whatever the situation are happening to you so it does not happen to someone else keep that in mind at this point of time we first need to go look and look what information is there and what information is compromised we have few questions here and need honest answers so we can help you in a better way because we already have your all information recorded by the us marshal and we will match all the answers that you are giving true answers or you are telling a lie and you know that if the information does not match then we will found you suspicious okay and we will take you in a custody and we cannot issue a new social security number for you okay i never lie tell me one thing okay just tell me one thing on this line we are talking so it's your cell phone number or it's your home phone number um this is my home phone number okay do you have any alternate number i have a cell phone okay tell me that number the cell phone number Okay, it's um it's 404. Yes. 281. Yes. 5451. It's 44. 404. Yes. 281. Yes. 5451. Oh, okay, I got that. Okay, so as I told you that we have found two addresses linked with your social security number. So I just want to confirm that what is your current home address? Confirm your current home address. My current home address is one two three three zero. Yes. 
crab apple. That's one word. Sorry, sir. Crab apple. Uh, crab apple roll. That C R A B A P P L E. C R A B. Uh huh. Crab apple. Yeah, crab apple. Okay. Road. Road. Uh huh. And that's in Lithonia. Sorry. Lithonia. Can you spell? L I T H O N I A. Okay, it's Lithonia. Uh huh. Okay, and after that? In Georgia. Georgia. Uh-huh. Okay. And what's your zip code? I'm um, 30060. Okay. So as I told you that, we have found 14 bank accounts under your name. And you told me, no, sir, I have only one bank account. It's the USAA Bank. Yes. So... Uh, just tell me that, sir. Uh, do you hold checking account or saving account of your debt? USS, USAE bank? Yes, I do. Both. It's both. Okay. And, sir, as I told you that, we have found millions of dollars under that, under your name. So, we have to differentiate between your legal money and money used for drug trafficking and drug, uh, drug trafficking. Okay? Uh-huh. Just tell me that. How many, uh, tell me any approximate the idea how much amount you hold in your checking account? Well, right now in my checking account, um, I just looked at it a little bit ago, so, um, but I paid some bills, but it's, it's still about $15,000 in there. Um, $15,000? Yeah, about fifteen, just a little bit over 15000 in my checking right now. And okay. there's like, in my savings, there's um, $42,000 in my savings. You know, I'm getting ready to buy a house. So I was looking at, say, I've been saving to buy a house. Okay. Do you use debit cards for this bank? Yeah, I use debit cards for them. Okay. And you told me, sir, you have two credit cards uh, that of USAA. So just tell me that, what is the limit of your credit card? Um, one of them is 20000 on that, on one of them, and the and the other one has a forty thousand dollar limit. Forty thousand. Yes. My God. Okay. And what is the available balance in this one? Oh, they're they're free and clear. I don't have anything on either one of them. Uh, I'm just asking that what is the available balance of your credit card? The the available balance is twenty thousand on the one that has twenty thousand and forty thousand on the one that has forty thousand. Okay. Yeah, I was getting ready to buy a house, so I'm not charging anything. Okay, you don't owe any money. No, I don't owe anything. You know, I you know I worked very hard over these forty years to make sure that my accounts are you know good and I save my money and and everything. So you know I'm getting ready to buy a house and. Okay. And so I didn't want, you know, I got my credit score is up and everything. So I'm making sure that I'm in good position to get a house. Oh, yes, sir. So just tell me one thing. Do you drive? Do I drive? Yes. Yes. Do you drive? Do yeah, you? I drive. Oh. Okay. Okay. So now I have your all information here and now I'm going to submit your asset verification form to the U.S. Marshal, okay, and to the Federal Trade Commission. Just give me a one minute, okay? Just let me submit. Okay. Yes, sir. This is some crazy stuff. Crazy. So I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand.
Uh, sir, I'm here. Hello? Yes, sir. Now, what we'll be doing, I uh, have forwarded your asset verification form to the U.S. Marshal and to the Federal Trade Commission. Who are investigating your case? And let me tell you, sir, if your asset verification form is approved and verified by the U.S. Marshal, then only I will be able to help you further. Because we need to make sure that you're innocent, okay? No, oh, I am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I know. But we need to make sure that you're innocent. We have to prove that, okay? Okay. Oh, just, uh, just give me a two minutes here. Hold for two minutes, okay? Okay, hold for two minutes, okay. Yes, I'm still here. Okay, now, sir. Now, as your form is not approved by the U.S. Marshals, and don't worry, they are giving you two options to proceed further, okay? Okay. Uh, your first option is that you can accept all these allegations like money laundering, drug trafficking, and the theft of uh, identity, uh, and proceed with the legal proceedings, of course. Oh, no, I can't do that. Yes, sir. Your second option is that let me talk to the Alpaso County Sheriff Department and let me discuss your case with them and ask a proper resolution for this case. So, which option do you want to go for? Well, I, I can't accept those charges. That's that. I can't do that. I can't go to jail. I can't. I can't do that. So, what was the other one again? Second one. Let me talk to the Alpaso County Sheriff. We have on you. Okay. Okay. Now, as we informed that you're already, is there is an arrest warrant under your name and social security number. So we been, we want to talk to the El Paso County Sheriff Department so that we can request them to hold your arrest warrant and give some time to resolve this case. So be on the line with me and let me talk to them, okay? Okay. I can this call. I'm going to call them uh, with my another extension, okay? Okay. Okay. Be on the line with me. All right. Hello? Yes, I'm still here. Mr. Simmons, as I informed, as I informed to the El Paso County Sheriff Department about the arrest warrant and the case. Now, they will be calling you, so do not hang up this call. Just put me on hold and talk to them. Because if you hang up our call, then we will find you suspicious. And then we have to release your arrest warrant and we have to take you in a custody. Okay. okay. Don't hang up this call. Talk to them. They will calling you within two and three minutes for the All right. Uh, I, I don't necessarily know how to click over on this phone. Okay, sir. Be on the uh, hold. Okay. Uh, let put me on hold and let me talk to them. Uh, okay.
Yes, I'm here. Sometimes I'm going to hang up this call and the sheriff and the youth marshal, they are going to call you, okay? Make sure that you have, you have to receive that call. Wait, but before you, before you hang up, this, this is Officer Eric Johnson, right? Yes, Officer Eric Johnson. Yeah, b- before you hang up, um, I just, I just want, I just want to let you know that I really, really, really appreciate the fact that all the information that I gave you was a bunch of BS. It was bogus because I know that you are bogus and that this is a scam and that y'all need to stop calling people with these scams. How about that? I'm glad I spent that time with you and you running this scam. What do you have to say for yourself? One thing, sir, I want to tell you, sir. You did nice acting. I did nice acting? Yes, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yes, sir. I appreciate that. Why do y'all do this, man? Come on. (laughs) Yeah, don't let that scam fool y'all.